Top 20, or top 40, and help these guys out. So, uh, but I'm very healthy, been very consistent. So this is a good like stepping stone to outdoor season. What, what place did you finish? I think I was right around 75th, I believe. 70th, 75th. Um, you guys are pretty close. Yeah, I, I saw career at one point. And we were running together for a little bit. Like he came back to me, and then he had a lot strong last like, kilometer, and uh, I wasn't able to finish a couple seconds behind me. Could you have prepared for this? Um, I mean, my not necessarily specifically for this course, but a lot of my went like training in the fall and winter it was like we do a hill session once a week. So we have like a hill called Our Freedom in Ann Arbor, and uh, it's a thousand meters, about 10% grade. Um, and we have another shorter, steeper hill. So that was something I wanted to do just in general, because I feel like I responded to a lot of hills, but like, this is a whole nother level. Like, I mean, you're from Kenya and Ethiopia, you have mountains. I'm from the Midwest, we have hills. You know, like, uh, but I don't know how you specifically prepare. I mean, you just. You just got to be strong. You just got to be wicked strong. In terms of, you know, this is this is like a way diversion for in terms of courses. Yeah. They have been much flatter, more like golf courses in the past. Yeah. Do you, which do you think is uh, better? Uh, this. I think this makes it fun. Like you see the amount of people here. This is incredible. Like it was awesome. It was a spectacle. I. I hope it was a just an insane entertainment to watch. Uh, so, I, I say keep on doing it like this. Keep on making it like a focal point of get people talking about how crazy it is, what the scenery is like, how it's going to run. And you come in, you have no idea what the race tactics are. You're just like, we're just running hard. You know, you can't plan it. Like maybe a flat course, you can be like, okay, try to run like 250 for the first K or something like that. Cut it down. There is no splits. You know, Did you no. have any splits in mind or no? No, I mean, I was looking at the clock and I saw we were close to like seven minutes for the first 2k I was like it doesn't matter okay what does that mean you know I ran hard like so I think it's just it makes the focus on racing I think it's a wild card um, I think if cross country is going to be relevant again and it should be I think it can be a focal point every year of like athletic circuit that you need to keep on doing stuff like this you know yeah um, so I don't think it needs to be like literally this tough mutter-esque like challenging but I think the concept of like incorporating the environment like the terroir of where the course is and why just kind of like breeds its own environment like uh yeah aura of like the race itself so instead of like running it just at a course that happens to be convenient put it in places that have history have culture have scenery like make it part of an event that people want to come watch other than just the performances, you know? So I think you can take the concept from this and easily transpose them to what NCAA cross should be. You know, it doesn't need to be flat. It doesn't need to be, like, easy. And it doesn't need to be this insane, but, you know, you get the concept, right? You know, I didn't want to think about that during the race, but all these little guys kept on, like, chopping up next to me, and I'm trying to shorten my stride as much as possible. And I'm just like, you know, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm pegging the ground. But uh, maybe, you know, I felt like I actually was able to open up well in the downhills. But, yeah, the uphills maybe it comes at a disadvantage. I'm almost 6'4", like, a great steeple chaser. Maybe not great for, like, the steeple hills. Yeah, up, up there. And I think the, in terms of like having to commit mentally during the race, the hardest. Because it, it hurt. Like there's so many points in there where I had to be like, come on, come on, keep the pressure down, keep the pedal down. Um, I think it will be the hardest cross course I've run. Maybe the hardest race, right? I mean, your best races are the ones that feel easy, right? And uh, I don't think... I ran to the best of my ability today. I think uh, uh, it was mediocre. Yeah, I gave it like a, a, a B or something like that. Like I really, you know, was in a point in the race where I think I could have had a really good performance, and uh, I kind of just let it slip. So I'm disappointed about that. Especially I wanted to help the guys out today and see if I could be a scoring member. Um, I have no idea how we finished as a team, but. Uh,
Yeah, this will be certainly, if not the hardest, the most memorable. Like, my whole family's here. I, I saw them out on the course a ton of times. I saw people cheering. Like, this will be something I will share forever in terms of like, wow, that was an incredible like venue experience. Uh, trip, so, yeah, thank you, thank you.